So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up the AHP 300 ventilator. So first thing that we're gonna do is look at the tubing that we actually have to have. So the tubing comes packaged like this. It is by Allied Health. It is blue tubing. I'm just gonna take that tubing out of the bag and I'm gonna show you how to hook it up to the ventilator. So once you take it out of the bag, you have three connections that you have to do for the vent. Each one is indicated here. They only fit on one spot, so there's nothing to worry about if you've picked the wrong spot. So you just plug these in one at a time, nice and snug, to make sure that all your connections to the ventilator are secured. And then you have your tubing hooked up and ready to go and we'll go over the settings. In order to connect your oxygen hose from your ventilator to your oxygen source, uh, most of the time when you're picking the patient up, you're obviously gonna connect, be connecting it to your portable oxygen source. So your O2 regulator should have the uh, quick connect for your high pressure oxygen source and your oxygen uh, tubing to your ventilator should also have the connection for the high pressure. Um, as long as your regulator is on and secured, your tank is turned on and it has oxygen in it, check for leaks with your high pressure connections. You can check for leaks here and again at the ventilator side. Um, all you have to do is take this and plug it in. You have a couple prongs. Make sure all your prongs line up. You plug that in to your oxygen source and you should hear it connect. Um, now your ventilator is hooked up to oxygen. In order to disconnect it, all you have to do is twist this here and it will pop off, all right? And in the actual vehicle, there should be an open wall plug for your high pressure oxygen support. Same thing, you just line the prongs up and you push it in to connect it, to take it off. You just twist to unscrew and it should take, pop off. That's how you connect your vent to oxygen. Now we're gonna go over how to uh, turn on and input the settings for the AHP 300 ventilator. So first you gotta do is turn it on so your power switches up here. You just switch all the way over to the other side and it will do a quick self check and the ventilator will turn on. There you go. Um, there is a quick start menu for um, most common adult and child settings. For the most part, you're gonna get your settings from the respiratory therapist and you're gonna adjust accordingly. Um, so what you'll do is just select the button you want to adjust uh, please note which mode of ventilation you are in. So currently we are in volume, AC, or assist control mode. Um, and then anything that is applicable to that mode will be displayed. If we change modes, for example, if I switch my mode by selecting it and using my scroll down to pressure and select again to confirm, notice that my title volume actually went away and I now have pressure controls in order to adjust the pressures for my patient since we're in pressure mode. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to volume mode, so press my select button again, use my scrolling selection, there we go, we're back to title volume. So, in order to change a value when you get the settings from the respiratory therapist, you just select the value you want to change and you're going to use your increase or decrease arrows here to change, for example, the title volume down to 500, select it again to save the setting. If you want to adjust the respiratory rate, we have breaths permitted up here, you would select that, use your scrolling again and you can increase or decrease those. Select again to save. Um, your alarm panel is down here. If you run into any alarms, it will display with this big red light here and it will indicate, <clears throat> it'll indicate which alarm has been triggered. There is a battery level indicator to tell you how much battery you have left. Um, and you do have your pressure settings for your pressure alarms up here, which you can adjust. Once again, speak with your respiratory therapist and see what their alarm settings are, and then you can adjust accordingly. Now that we've obtained all of our settings from respiratory, we've inputted all those settings into our ventilator, we're gonna go ahead and hook our patient up to the vent. So you're gonna need your HEPA filter, you're gonna need your capnography, and you're gonna need your BVM as backup just in case. Go ahead and grab your circuit. You're gonna remove your pop-off and you're gonna attach your HEPA filter, just like that. You're gonna take your capnography. You're gonna screw it into your monitor first so that it zeroes out. Once it's zeroed, go ahead and connect your capnography to your circuit, It's like such. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the hospital circuit from the patient. And we're gonna connect our circuit to the patient. Your patient is now being ventilated through our ventilator.